first and foremost, guys, holy shit, this movie is amazing. From from beginning to end, amazing job. I can't I can't tell you guys enough. This was a fantastic film. Um, but first of all, let's let's talk about it. Introduce me to your characters. Let the people know who uh, each one of you guys are playing, and uh, and a little hook into your characters. Wow. I play Otis, and I'm a medic that looks after these guys. I'm Eddie, and I play a photographer and uh, a, a kind of a, a showboat, and uh, I look after these guys. <laughs> <laughs> and I play Melvin. I'm a bit of a free spirit. Uh, signed on into the Army when I was way too young. Uh, but uh, these are my brothers. These are my bloods. I, I look after these guys. I love it. Now, um, this movie requires a lot of different skills. I mean, there's uh, elements of comedy. It's firmly a drama, and it has a lot of uh, action and thriller elements in it. How do you prepare for such a role like that with so much variety? Well, in the beginning, we went, we went to a boot camp for the physical and active side. Um, we drew on our life experiences for the philosophical side, and we just hung out with each other for the love side. Yeah. I love it. And I, I, I also just feel that uh, when you approach it, you know, you're not thinking, you know, drama, comedy, you're just going to play it and you hope that people uh, uh, in, in, enjoy it. Um, uh, all of that is going to come out. Sure. You're just, especially if you're just being honest and you're not, and you're just living in that moment, uh, it'll all start to happen. And that's where you're going to get that variety. Now, um, while, while doing research uh, for the time era and your characters, uh, were there any surprises or discoveries that you found along the way to help inform the character that you were going to play? Yeah, I think all of us learned uh, in the moment that it was about the black culture. We had no idea, at least from my perspective, we didn't know about the black culture in Vietnam. And uh, this was, on my understanding, the very first war that this was only one army and uh, instead of having a black army or a white army, like in Korea or, you know, the World War Twos and World War Ones, but this was the first time it was one army, but yet they were segregated themselves and, uh, and the different cultures within that and finding out that uh, there was a brotherhood there. There was, um, in fact, we learned that a lot of people didn't want to even come back from there because when they got back to the United States, they missed the brotherhood that they had over there. Oh, is that right? I had no idea about that. That's crazy. Um, now, can you guys talk to me about Spike Lee's approach and how he set the tone for the film? It's on you, Isaiah. You, 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 you're the veteran here. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Spike is. Spike knows what he wants. He has a vision, and and we as as an actor, you, you're there and you're trying to help him capture that 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 vision. You're you're working within that shot. Or within within that scene, so so you start putting all of this together. Uh, you feel like you're in great hands, and, and you are. Uh, but um, uh, you've got to work within that zone. But within right. that zone, you can be very flexible. Um, and last question for you guys. Now, clearly, there's a system, or I'm sorry, symmetry between the struggle of the late '60s and '70s and today. Uh, how do, how do, how does, how, what, what do you want people to experience uh, with contemporary times uh, to help illuminate uh, what was going on uh, in the film? Do you mean it the other way around, that what was happening then to illuminate yes. what was happening yes, now? Yes, that's exactly what I meant, actually, yes. Yes, that is what you meant. Well, you know, uh, just, just to take a look at, 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 uh, at, at the racial dynamic and the politics of then, look at it now, and I would dare say, take a look back at, at, uh, at the Harlem Renaissance and take a look at history then and see where we're at and then, and then chart, uh, chart your trajectory. You know, uh, we've been saying all along for all of us uh, at some point in time is take a look at history. Right. Take a look at history. It's easy now, you know, what they did not want to tell you in school or in university, you have access to now online from many, many, many perspectives get online, find that library, read those books you know, and, and, and educate yourself because educate yourself, do not allow yourself to be indoctrinated. Right. right. Difference, educate yourself. Getting, and getting to know the history will help you in the dialogue today. It's when you don't know the history 
that uh, that's when you start hearing comments like, well, I, I don't know what's wrong or, or I always thought everything was OK. And you want to say no because of all of these other things that have happened up until this moment. Mm. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for your time. This is the exact movie that I needed to see uh, for the last couple of days. So I, I truly appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And good luck, brother. Thank good you. Good Take care. Thank you.